All right. Um, in this demo, we are going to look into stack panel. But before we do, I want to touch on a couple of things with the grid uh, that I forgot to mention in the last video. So one of those issues is, uh, if you noticed, these items, some of these ellipses are clipped or trimmed because of the uh, column width. Um, and same thing here, the ellipse doesn't fit in one column or one row, so it's clipped. And that's because, again, we have a fixed sized column here with 75. This column is set for 60, and these two ellipses are trimmed. Uh, because they, the, the size of the ellipses are uh, a lot larger than the column itself. So if you look at the first one, the purple, it's 80 height, 80 width. So, and uh, the column itself is 60. So that's why it's trimmed. And likewise with the black one, it's 150 by 150. So it trims this one because we didn't give any height. It adjusts to the width of the column. Okay, and same thing here. The uh, height is larger than the row itself. So it gets trimmed. This one here, it's actually trimmed, but I set the, this is one way to work around. You can set the columns span and row span if you have enough space enough room next to it if these columns or rows not being used you can increase the column span to two or row span to two this way the whole item get displayed i just want to touch on that and the other thing i want to touch on is you could also um nest layout controls within themselves so you can you can uh, excuse me you can add another grid to the same grid you can add stack panel to the grid you can add stack panel to stack panel so you can nest the controls within each other let's go ahead and do a quick example of that I'm gonna place a grid right between this column and this column so there's three columns gonna occupy only one row so let me go ahead and uh, that's um, it's going to start with column one, zero, one, two, three. So I'm going to go with column three right here, right? Actually, three is over here. So I'm just going to, I'm going to just right between this column three and column five. So I'm going to enter another grid. I'm going to give this a back, background so we can see. Uh, let's go with the um, color of coral. All right, let me actually set the grid.column to three and grid.row to three. Let's see if we got it right. Yeah, right. Okay, now I'm going to uh, set the column span to take up three columns so grid that column span it's going to be three so that'll expand the uh, grid to next two columns as well now we can set i'm going to copy the column definitions from up top here i'm just going to add a couple of these columns two columns i'm going to make it two columns and uh two rows the close column definition All right uh, same thing with the row definitions change this to row definitions row definitions and row definitions 
So we have two columns and two rows. I'm going to go ahead and enter, insert the text block, and give it a text of text block. Set the font size to 33. I'm not going to give any row or column because I want it to be the first column, first row of this child grid, which is nested in the original grid, main grid. I'm going to and, and insert the text box also. Text box. I want this to be column two, right next to the text block. So grid dot column is going to be one, but in reality is column two based on index. And I want the button on the second row. Maybe the content of button and grid dot row will be one. And let's get a font size of 33 as well. And I want this to take up both columns. So grid dot column span two. Okay, so the options are unlimited. And let me run this. All right now we have a child grid within the main grid. Okay, and I didn't increase the font size, but uh, you get the idea. So we have text box, text block, and button right inside the grid. Okay, um, so yeah, I think we covered pretty much everything. All right, so I'm gonna comment this out, this whole thing, and start with the stack panel. Actually, I'm gonna, yes, comment it out and uh, cut and paste somewhere down below here, in case I need it for later. So let's go back in here, let's add a stack panel. Okay, so now let's talk about stack panel. So stack panel stacks items on top of each other or next to each other, okay? By default, it's vertical alignment. Let me show you here, if I, orientation. So we're talking about orientation. We have two modes, vertical and horizontal. By default, it's vertical. If I don't, if you don't set it here, it's going to be vertical. So let's add a few items. Let's add a button. Let's get a content of button. Let's do caps, button. All right, so the button, all right, let me actually remove this content. See, by default, it has just a tiny bit of uh, height, but um, anyway, let's uh, return that back, uh, the content, let's take that, bring that back, let's edit text block we close it again it's not showing because it's right here because we don't have a text in there so let's uh, give it a text of text block hmm. all right Let's increase the font sizes to 30. Let's go crazy with 40. 
All right, let's increase the font size here too. To 40. So we have a text block and a button. Let's add a, an ellipse. And let's get a fill of red. Close that out so we don't see the ellipse. See, um, with some elements, even if we don't have any height and width, like text box and button, it has a little default height. Okay, that's by design. Now the ellipse doesn't have any. It's like a single line. So we need to give it a height. Let's get a height of um, 40 as well. Let's uh, add a rectangle, fill of um, green, and uh, let's close this out. Let's find out again, same thing. So we don't have a height, it won't show up. Let's get a height of 40. Okay, so stack panel, stacks, items, when it's set to by default on top of each other. Okay. Okay, so um, that's default vertical stacking. Items are stacked on top of each other. Let's uh, switch to other orientation, which is horizontal. Uh oh, seems like we missed, uh, we lost some of the items. Uh, again, when you switch to horizontal, now we need the uh, width instead of height. So now I need to change this to width. If I do that, then the item will show up like so. Okay, now uh, you see the button is a little wider. It's still taking the whole uh, height of the stack panel, but the width, because of we have this text here, the width increased as well. Same with the stack panel, because of this text, the width increased and the height is default. It's just taking the whole, whole space um, similar to the grid, you know. It will take the all available space that there is. Um, let's go ahead and give it a um, Height and width, so I'm going to go with height 2, let's go with height 40, let's go with 60, and height of 60, let's increase this width also, let's make it um, noticeable instead of tiny oh well let's go crazy with 90. all right so again they're stacked next to each other with horizontal orientation and with vertical orientation they're stacked on top of each other. Okay, so that's really the stack panel. I mean, it's quite simple. You could do the same thing with as we did uh, with the grid. You can nest different layouts within the stack panel. Um, it's just fine. It'll work. All right, so that's stack panel. That's it's quite simple and useful layout control. All right, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.